Hi, I'm Mike Falanc, a portrait photographer from Los Angeles, and today we're going to be trying out my new Fujifilm X100B. Now, full disclosure, this will be my first time shooting with this little beast. However, I do have a past with the Fuji X system. I used to shoot with an X-T2, and last year I shot about half my work with an X-T3. One of the coolest features about this system and what keeps me ringing back is the film simulations. And today we're going to be trying out five or six of my favorites. Very excited. To take a better look at these film simulations, we're going to need a model. And today we're very lucky to have the lovely and talented Larissa. Hi, thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. So Larissa is not only a model, but she's an actress, and she's looking for an agent. Agents out there, look her up on Instagram, Larissa.Lance. Yeah, look me up. <laughs> so since we'll be using off-camera flash today, the first thing that I did was to get a black frame by darkening my exposure to cut out all the ambient light. And to get there, I started at F8, and I landed on 1 500th of a second. ISO 160. Okay, so the first film simulation we're gonna start with is the basic one, Provia. Fuji X really considers this their standard color profile, so I figure it's a good place to start. All right, let's do this. Things got so complicated. Good. Uh, I can't see your back arm right now, it's kind of vanished. Can you do something in front? There you go. Love that. Very good. You keep on coming back for more. I've been waiting here before. It is not the first time. Thinking that you'll come. So switching over to Astia. This is intended to be Fuji's portrait simulation. It's uh, got smoother skin tones and it's a little desaturated. Let's take a closer look. Okay, we're switching over to Classic Neg, the newest film simulation exclusive to the X100B and the new X Pro 3. This is going to be a higher contrast with a little bit of hint of green in the shadows. Let's take a closer look. Okay, that's the pose. Okay, we're switching over to a secret film recipe I'm very excited to try out for the first time, Portra 400. What's that? Never heard of film recipes, you say? Head on over to FujiXWeekly.com to learn more about how you can apply them to your Fuji X camera. Now back to our shoot. Real talk. Oh, no, I love it. Let that personality come through. Yes. This was a film stock made famous in 1998. So think back to 1998 vibes. Were you listening to the Spice Girls in 98? Yes. <laughs> Very cool. Yep. Love it. Reach out the camera, give me some claws. I think we found a look and a film simulation that complement each other. And when it works, it works. So let's get to work. Good. Can you give me, a, can you take the hand down and then give me a lip bite, bite your lip? Nice, I love these. 
It's so 90. Isn't it? We're getting that retro, we're getting that retro fix on, guys. All right, so we've had Larissa change one more time it's to help us feature Velvia, the brightest and most saturated and colorful film simulation. Let's have some fun with it. All right, give me that personality. There it is. Beautiful. Your lipstick looks very saturated already, just in the viewfinder. I'm loving these shots we're getting on Velvia. To mix it up though, I think we should drop down low. What do you say, should we drop it like it's hot? Like it's hot. Let's do this. But not too wide, because I don't have that wide of a lens. Keep them in. Maybe bend one knee. Real tall. There you go. Real tall. Yes, I'm loving these. So I've decided to switch over to Portra 400 because it's very 90s and it just fits the vibe we're going for right now. Yeah, the, the secret uh, recipe to Portra 400 is you gotta overexpose it about a stop. Way more pleasing skin tones and you get more pastel colors. So I'm getting the red battery warning, which means it's time to change batteries. Actually, the battery life's been pretty impressive so far on this first use of the Fuji X100V. Okay, we're shooting classic neg right now, which is a little punchier, so we're going for a higher contrast look. I've uh, opened up my aperture all the way to the maximum of F2 for some shallow depth of field, which means I had to bring down my lightings and speed up my shutter a full stop. Let's see how these look. Can you give me some eye contact? Good. Actors are so good at telling stories with their faces. I love photographing actors. So now that we tried out my five favorite color simulations, it's time to move on to black and white. And you guessed it, Acros, everybody's favorite black and white film stock. Okay, I'm gonna switch over to the Acros Plus Red Filter because I think it's gonna bring out her skin tone and brighten up just a little bit. Let's take a look. Hold on, square your shoulders with me, just face me. I'm gonna get tight. That's a good pose. Very good. Acros plus red filter. Really makes the skin tone shine. 
In Europe, actually, all of our headshots used to be black and white, so that reminds me actually a lot of our old school headshots. Really? Yeah. Where did you grow up in Europe? In Frankfurt. Germany? Yeah. Very good. German girl. Yes. Can you get your legs even closer? Can you really, really bundle up? That's it. This is really out of left field for me right now because I don't usually shoot black and white portraits. Yeah. I'm usually so color centric. These are looking great. Oh my God. They're really great. Yeah, it has a, a timeless beauty to it. Well, I hope you enjoyed our demonstration of the film simulations on this X100B camera. Thank you, Larissa, for helping us out. Oh my God, I had such a blast. Good. Uh, I'm leaving with a, one surprising note. I used Acros a lot more than I thought I would. I don't typically shoot portraits in black and white, but it was such a pleasing aesthetic, very filmic. I loved it. Would you agree? Yeah. yeah. And then as far as film color or color film goes, the Portra 400, hands down, we used it the most. Oh my god, yes. They looked so 90s. So yeah, we really, liked, we really liked the Portra 400. Uh, head over to Instagram where you can follow Larissa or myself and like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching. Bye.